Hi there, welcome to 42 Pursuit. Today I'm in the shop and I'm going to be upgrading the motor on this 14 inch Delta bandsaw from a three quarter horsepower motor to a one and a half horsepower motor. I've noticed that this bandsaw struggles a bit when cutting thicker stock, specifically when I've been trying to resaw some lumber and I think it's due to the small motor. I put a new Timberwolf resawing blade on it recently, so I'm pretty sure that that's not the issue. Now I know that these bandsaws were not designed specifically with resawing in mind, but others have had pretty good luck with these older style Delta bandsaws, and so I think a motor upgrade should be worth it. So the other day, when I was looking at what it would take to do this upgrade, I quickly discovered that this doesn't have a nameplate with the horsepower and RPM details that is normally on a motor. After searching online, I discovered that these are all three quarter horsepower motors. That's good, but I needed to know the RPM. So I picked up one of these digital tachometers and they work quite simply. They come with some reflective stick on strips that you stick onto the pulley or whatever you're trying to find the RPM of. And then all you gotta do is point the laser at it and it gives a reading of the RPM. Super simple, super handy. I'm gonna use this a lot. Using this, I discovered the motor's RPM to be 1725. Now the motor that I wanna use has a motor speed of 3,450 RPM, which is significantly faster. I don't wanna change the speed at which the blade moves through the wood, also known as service feet per minute. So we're gonna to have to change the pulley sizes of these two pulleys to result in the same RPM with the quicker motor speed. So I got out my pen and paper, started to do some calculations. After a few minutes, I thought to myself, self, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Sure enough, I hopped online and there is a site that gives you all the information that you need to know when you put in the different variables for a two pulley system. Links below. So this original system has an input RPM of 1725. The first pulley diameter is 2.75 inches with a pulley shaft of 5 eighths of an inch. The second pulley is a six inch pulley with a shaft diameter of three quarters of an inch and an RPM of 790. I was curious what the surface feet per minute of the blade was for the original setup. And with the bandsaw wheel being 14 inches in diameter, the surface feet per minute of the blade works out to be 2,896 feet per minute. I also found a calculator that does that math real quick, easy for you, also linked below. To get an idea of what different size pulleys were available at what increments, I hopped on to McMaster.com, which has a huge range of all of the different types of pulleys available. Using a calculator, I went back and forth to determine for the second scenario with the new motor, what pulleys would be needed to get the desired RPM. I determined that a 1.75 inch pulley for the input and a seven inch pulley for the output would result in a surface feet per minute of the blade only increasing to 3160 from 2896. Most wood cutting bandsaws of this style that I've found have a surface feet per minute of around 3000 and our value of 3160 feet per minute is close enough for me. One other handy thing that the online calculator does is calculate the length of V-belt that you'll need with the pulley size and axle distance. I calculated that a 44 inch pulley would work for the new pulleys. So I got the two new pulleys and the new V-belt on order, which brings us to today. Let's throw this all together and see if this works. Both pulleys are back on and the V-belt is installed. I ran it for a little bit and there's a little bit of a shake, but I think that that's just due to the oval shape of the brand new V-belt. Also, extra bonus, a seven inch pulley fits just barely under this protective cover. So that doesn't actually need to change. Pumped about that. Another thing I noticed is this motor does have twice the horsepower and it seems to be moving this base plate a little bit more than the previous one did. So I think I might run some ribs underneath that to sort of stiffen this up. But even without that, it seems to be running fine. I'm gonna do a couple quick test cuts and show you how it looks.
Just on these two test cuts I tried, I can already tell a difference. It seems like it was almost more confident pushing it through. It didn't lag in the same way. So there you go. If you have a faster RPM motor that has the same bolt pattern of what you're mounting it to, or you can retrofit a different mounting position on your bandsaw, you can upgrade to a higher horsepower saw with a different RPM by just changing the pulleys. That totally works. Well, I hope this video added value to some of you out there. Thanks for watching.